Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Isaiah with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaha Kodash. Bro, willingness is edifying. And uh, I was looking at the elder Menachem Zagba's video. Okay, and uh, basically. Uh, I want to look up these words. Hold on, real quick. Let me get these out of my pocket. All right, so lock I don't want to crush my stuff. Or whatever. Take them out of my pocket. So, um, so he was reading the scripture, okay, and uh, the spirit helped me to look up the words. So the scripture starts off like this. It's Psalms 58 and 3. It says, The wicked are estranged. From the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, and he had made a statement where he's like, you know, of course they they don't go speaking lies, you know, as soon as they be born because babies don't speak. And uh, you know, I was, I was thinking to myself like, well, I, w I wonder what those Hebrew words are, you know, in that particular uh, passage. So I went ahead and go ahead and pull them up, and you know, this will just be a quick hit, or when it'll be edifying. So let's get it, uh, get these words, all right. So that first word. Okay, that I want to go into is uh, speaking. All right, speaking, which it is what most of us would think it is. Which is a lucky damn browser don't want to. Boom. So it is what you would think it is. You know, if you've been studying the Hebrew a little bit, it's Debar. Okay, Debar. Strong's H sixteen ninety six, Debar. Okay. And when you go into the Strong's info, it says. A primitive root, perhaps properly to arrange, okay, to arrange, but use figuratively of words, to speak, rarely in a destructive sense, to subdue, answer, appoint, bid, command, commune, declare, destroy, to give, to name, to promise, to pronounce, to rehearse, to say, to speak, to be spokesman, to subdue, to talk, to teach, to tell, to think. So there's a lot of things uh, that go with this word, um, uh, the bar. And you know, in this particular uh, sense here. Now, I want to read some more on this, okay? In the Hebrew, it's the Jacinius Hebrew Childy Lexicon, okay? When you scroll down, just Jacinius Hebrew Childy Lexicon. It says, This root has various significations of which several are found, are only found in the derivatives in Hebrew, but which in the cognate languages also appear in the verb. These various meanings. May be thus arranged. The primary power, as the etymologist in Holland long ago lightly rightly observed, is that of setting thing setting in a row or ranging in order. Okay. Now, you know one of the things that we like to speak about when it concerns Esau is, you know, he's a the word where it says the accuser of our brethren. That word accuser in the Greek goes into kata garizo. Or kata, you know, katagareo. Basically, he likes to categorize things, okay? But, you know, that's not really the context I want to go to in this particular thing. Let's read some more. It says, uh, so let's see what the possibilities of, of what this could mean is, okay? To lead, to guide, to bring into order, to follow, to be behind, okay? Like the Arab, the hinder part, it says, in the example, it says, and as those who are going to lay snares come from behind, Okay, to lay snares, to plot against, or to destroy. You see, so <laughs> the wicked are estranged from the womb; they go forth as soon as they be born. Okay, speaking lies. All right. Well, well that word speaking, uh, debar, could also possibly mean, okay, laying snares or plotting against, plotting to destroy. You see. All right. Frequent to speak properly. To speak, so there's different ones where it does mean to speak, okay, to speak. But I thought that was interesting that it said that, you know, and, and it says it again here, to plot against, to lay snares, to plot against, also to destroy, okay. And you see that one uh, clip that Elder uh, Elder Malcolm had posted, uh, which I had did a lesson on it and them devils took it down, but there was a clip. Where there was this young Shedamite, all right, and she was, uh, you know, the cookies had got stole, all right, from uh, from their house, 
and the mom said, well, who stole the cookies? And she said, oh, she said, where's the cookies go? She said, oh, someone, somebody stole the cookies. Somebody broke in and stole the cookies. And the mom was like, so somebody broke in and all they stole was the cookies. They didn't steal nothing else. They just stole the cookies. She said, yeah. And then after she said, yeah, she said, and it was a black man. All right. And so that kind of goes, that kind of goes to show you how she laid, she was laying snares at an early age. All right. It was already in her spirit to lay snares against Jake. Okay. And even further, when you go against, when you go and get that word, okay, lies. Uh, so we got speaking, and now we're going to get lies, okay? Lies is ka, kazab, kazab, okay? Kazab, okay? Literally untruth, figuratively idle, deceitful, or false, leasing, liar, okay? Lie, lying, okay? So let's get them together, okay? Deceit. So he's, he's setting a snare of deceit. And go forth as soon as they be born. Let's look at it again. To plot against, to lay a snare, was that first word, debar. And then this, this word, kazab, is deceit. So they go forth as soon as they be born, laying snares of deceit for Jake. Okay? It's already in their spirit to do so. All right? The scriptures, the scriptures speak about it in Romans 9. Okay? The nature of these uh, these E's, man. You see? Let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Get it open right quick. All right. So, like I said, this will just be a quick quick hit. You know, we'll see where the spirit goes. But I'm gonna get Romans nine and then uh, go from there. Romans nine. Verse 10, and not only this, but when Rebecca had also had even had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. Now I did a lesson, well, I meant to do a lesson on that word even, but it was a very short lesson. Uh, I'm not sure if I posted it, but either way, that word even means namely. I believe I did. Namely, okay? When you look at that word even, it means namely. So namely our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that called us. So, so before Jacob and Esau were born, one was already predestined to be the wicked, and one was already predestined to be the righteous, all right? And so they go forth as soon as they be born, laying snares of deceit for the righteous, all right? That's it. That's, it's ingrained in their spirit to do as such, okay? So I just thought that was interesting, you know, those words, okay? And once again, those words are, all right, debar for the word speaking, debar. And one of the iterations of debar is to lay a snare or lay snares or to destroy, okay? Which they try to destroy the character of the men of the Lord by laying these different snares. <clears throat> and then you get kazab. Strong's H3577, kazab which is uh, lies, untruths, anything that deceives or deludes by false hope, the used of idols, used of a false oracle, falsehood or lying. You see? So that lets you know what it means, okay? This ties in with that scripture, okay? Where the Messiah was speaking to the uh, wicked Pharisees, get it right here John 8 and 44 says ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father will ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there was no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it you see so there's always been a wicked seed okay the serpent okay who, who lied those uh, falsehoods who laid those snares of falsehood and deceit for Eve uh, in the garden, okay. Uh, and then there was a uh, Cain, okay, who let, who lied and wait for his brother's blood, okay. And then and then and then uh, dealt deceitfully with the Most High as if he didn't do nothing, okay. And now Esau, okay, Esau's inherited that. All right, so he goes forth as soon as he's born, plotting on the on the just man, just being perverse and against the Most High, okay. 
that's his lot in life. So, uh, yeah, you know, I just like I said, just want to uh, kind of go into that. I don't really have much else. All right, but that just proves you, like I said, that, like I was finna say, it just proves to you that when it speaks about the devil, all right, it's not speaking about, okay, a, a, a little red man with a pitchfork, all right? You are of your father, the devil. That's not speaking about the spiritual demon, Satan. All right, that's speaking about deceivers. As a matter of fact, we can get that. John eight and forty four. See what that word is. See what that word is, man. John. All right, if I can uh, get it to work. All right. Every time I try to click on it, it ain't letting me do it. Something wrong with this browser, man. I'm gonna try one more time. If it don't work, all right, yeah, it's not gonna let me select it, so I'm gonna just end it there. You know, I'm gonna give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechah Kodash, the more honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom, Ma'abah, Babah, Bro, witnesses, edifying. Shalom.